All right, let's talk about how to prep a nib. And I'm talking about a dip pen nib that you might use for calligraphy or drawing. And um, you know, these are pens that you, you know, you have a nib in the end of this pen holder and you dip it into the ink, which you can kind of see off to the right here. And that loads the ink onto the nib and then you can write or draw with it. Um, and I have two different pens here. The blue holder is an unprepped nib, so it hasn't been prepped yet. And we'll see what that looks like. And the one in the wooden holder is a prep nib, which is ready to go. Um, now you can see, let's just look at the nib close up here. And you can see there's no ink on it. Um, and let's dip it in the ink. And this is the prep nib. And you can see when I dip the prep nib into the ink, if you can get a good look at it, it's really full with ink. It's completely covered. The ink's really sticking to the nib. Let me turn the nib over. You can see where I dipped it up to about right here. If you look at the top of my fingernail, um, it's really covering the nib down there. And as a result, this nib is holding a lot of ink and I can do quite a few, quite few um, thick shaded strokes with this nib before it runs out of ink. I'll do them a little fatter so it runs out. All right, and then it just ran out there. So we got quite a few strokes with that prep nib. Now we're gonna look at my unprep nib and hopefully you can see it's a little shinier, it hasn't been used, hasn't been worn down at all. Um, and part of that is that these nibs have an oil coating on them when they come from the manufacturer. And that keeps them from kind of sticking together and, and from rusting. Um, so we need to get that oil off of the nib. But if you try to use this nib without prepping it, watch when I dip it into the ink. And you can see I'm not getting that complete coverage in the nib that we got before. Okay, you can see I, I dipped it all the way up to here, but the, the ink really isn't starting until right there. And then if you're really careful and you look at the tip of this nib, there's no ink on the tip. Um, so this, this nib might not even, I mean, it'll write a little bit, but it's gonna run out of ink very quickly. All right, it already ran out of ink right there, okay? And this is the problem that you're probably having if you're watching this video. All right, so how do we prep our nibs? The whole idea is to get that oil coating off. And really to do that, we need to use some type of um, cleaner, some type of acid, acidic uh, cleaner that is going to break down that oil and get it off the nib. So really the, the cleaner that everybody has and you don't need to go out and buy is your own spit, <laughs> saliva. Um, that's what I use most of the time. That's what a lot of calligraphers do. Um, saliva works very well. Saliva is slightly acidic and you just kind of, I, I literally, just, I mean, I'm not going to do it here. I'm going to save you the, the visual, but you know, I, I have a paper towel. I spit into the paper towel and then I just wipe the nib as thoroughly as I can, trying to hit the front and the back and really contact all parts of that nib. Okay. And I, I just use that because it's, it's what I always, you know, you always have spit on hand and you can use it very easily. Um, but you can use things like Windex, rubbing alcohol, just about any type of cleaner um, works. So that's one way easy to, do, um, easy to do it. People talk about a potato. You can kind of stick the nib in your potato. I don't recommend that because one, you have to keep an old potato <laughs> on your desk, which gets old and moldy and gross. Um, it does work. Um, and the other thing I don't like about it is you're sticking, you know, if you're using a really sharp nib, you're sticking it into a potato. You're just going to kind of start to ruin the point of your nib. So not a potato, fan of the potato myself. Um, lastly, the idea, another way that I really like to do if I'm having a lot of trouble with the nib and it, I can't get that oil off is to use a flame. And that's what I'm going to do right now. Um, a lot of people kind of warn you about using a flame, like, oh, you're going to ruin your nib. I've never ruined a nib with a flame, um, and it's because I'm very careful with it. One, I'm using a, a butane torch, which is a very directed, uh, directed heat source, I guess you could say. So I really know where I'm applying the heat with this. Um, but you just do it like this, and you just need a quick, you know, pass through on each side of the nib. And that really should do it. And what I typically do after that is use a little 
saliva to kind of just clean off after that and you might be able to see it probably not in this video but using the flame will can if you especially if you apply a little too much heat will discolor the nib a little bit but that's fine it's still gonna write fine and let's just see how it's holding ink now so I just applied the flame and now we're really getting a beautiful ink adherence to our nib now I mean that thing is full with ink the back side is completely covered with ink now it's writing again um, this nib is ready to go so it's really as easy as that I wouldn't I mean don't be afraid to use your own spit don't be afraid to use a lighter or a flame um, don't hold the nib under there with the flame if you heat it up too much you are gonna weaken the nib to a point and you're likely to break it um, at some point but you know nibs break all the time anyway after you use them for a while so it's really not the end of the world I mean this nib is holding a lot of ink as you can see and it's out okay so that's how you do it that's how you prep the nib use your spit use your Windex rubbing alcohol or if you're into fire use your flame that never fails um, especially if you're using a nib this is a hunt 101 nib which is a very common nib out there you can get online at your local hobby store, store. Um, if you're using a Nico G which is another very popular nib those nibs have a lot of oil on them and I I feel like I'm always trying to get that oil off every time I use a Nico G, Nico G nib even after I've already prepped it so for those the flame is definitely the way to go um, and those are really strong nibs too that aren't going to just break on you so that's it thanks for watching uh, please like the video if it helped you out leave a comment if you have a question about prepping your nibs or anything else subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more about american penmanship and handwriting um, and check out my website writewithyourarm.com if you want to learn um, how to write in the traditional american style with your arm so um, thanks for watching. We'll get you next time.